Butterfly English Textbook for Class 5 Contents Revision Lesson Page 1 Lesson 1 India Superpower in Cricket Page 10 Lesson 2 A Feet on Feet Page 23 Lesson 3 Full Moon is India Page 31 Lesson 4 Memory in Marble Page 45 Lesson 5 My School Days Page 54 Lesson 6, The Clever Monkey, page 62. Lesson 7, The Rebel Poet, page 75. Lesson 8, Building to Remember, page 84. Lesson 9, Bird's Eye, page 92. Lesson 10, A Great Social Reformer, page 105. Page ele lesson 11, The Finishing Point, page 113. Lesson 12, Beyond Barriers, page 121. Teacher's Guidelines, page 133. Page 1, Revision Lesson. Let's read. Read and enjoy this comic strip. 1. Okay, today I'll tell you the story of an angel. Tell me a story, Grandma. 2. Once upon a time, there was an angel with bright wings. Ooh. 3. Who took a little children on a tour of the sky, if they were good. So, wow, I can actually see the angel. Page uh, 4. Page 2. 5. Will you take me on a tour of the sky? Yes, I will, since you have been good. What sparkling stars, what a bright moon. I have never seen such beauty. Glad you like it. 7. What a calm face, what a beautiful smile. She looks as good as my grandmother. 8. Wake up, it's dawn, time for our morning walk. Oh, grandfather, so all of it was a dream. Let's do activity 1. A. Write T for true and F for false sentences. 1. Gra grandfather told the boy a story. 2. The boy fell asleep while listening to the story. 3. The angel's face looked like the face of the children's mother. 4. The boy woke up at the call of his grandfather. Page 3. B. Answer the following questions. A. How did grandmother describe the angel? B. Why do the angels take children for a tour? C. What were the beautiful things the boy saw in his dream? D. What did the boy think when he woke up? Activity 2A. Match the animals with their young ones and write their names in the given boxes. Hen, duck, tiger, horse, cow, pig. Colt, piglet, calf, chick, cub, duckling. Activity 2B. Write the names of the adult animals, birds. One is done for you. One, puppy, dog. Three, uh, two, kitten. Three, kid. Four, lamb. Five, cub. 6. Eaglet Activity 3A, page 4 Match group A with group B Masculine gender, horse Write feminine gender, tiger, dog Feminine gender, they are say cow, hen, queen, woman Our masculine gender, dog, goose, peacock Activity 3B, write down the opposite gender of the underlined words Yesterday my grandmother Grandmother and mother came to our school. Grandmother and mother. My father brings my brother and me to school every day. Father, brother. We address our male teacher as sir, he is a wise man. Male, sir, he, man. Let's talk. Sit in groups of four. four. Your teacher is your quiz master. He or she will ask you this question. What is the capital city of West Bengal? What is the capital of India? 5. What is the capital city of Bihar? Which state has Nachi as its capital? Can you say which state has Mumbai as its capital city? What is the capital city of Tamil Nadu? Hyderabad is called the Chamina city. Can you say where Hyderabad is situated? Which city is called the Pink city? Activity 4. Match group A with group B. One is done for you. A. Mason makes houses. A. Teache, porter, doctor, soldier, barber, pilot, cobbler, potter, postman, 
washerman, carpenter, tailor. B te hache washes clothes. Makes chairs, tables. Delivers letters. Makes iron pots. Carries goods. Looks after patients. Fights in wars. Teaches clothes. Drives aeroplanes. Repair shoes. Cuts hair. Page six. Activity five. Choose the right word from the other one from the ones given in brackets. Last week, my sister and I go goes went to the village fair. There. Where was our many shops? My sister once wanted one to take a ride in the giant wheel. We bought by buys tickets for it. We enjoy, enjoys, enjoyed the ride. Then we ate, eat, eats food. It was getting late, so we went back home. Activity six: Catch the thief game. How to play the game? Form a group of eight students. Count the numbers of the group one by one and call out in chorus: Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, rich man, poor man, beggar, and thief. The boy or girl who is number eight becomes the thief, and he/she will have to describe something like a match watched recently. If his or her description is satisfactory, everyone will cap, clap. If he she fails, he or she will have to act according to certain directions given by his or her friends, like sing a song, recite a poem, etc. Activity seven. Who am I? A. I deliver letters and parcels to your houses. I am a postman. B. I assist doctors. I look after the sick in a hospital. I am a doctor. C. I drive buses and trucks. Taxis. I can also drive trucks. I am a driver. Do I walk in the fields all day? I grow crops. I am a farmer. Activity eight. Change the singular number number into plural numbers by adding s e s i e s. One is done for you. Singular bat bats. Book ball bus as mosquito butterfly buffalo donkey. Activity nine. Put a tick mark to choose the right answer. One is done for you. I am is reading a book. I am reading a book. B. My sister M is playing. Is playing. C. My parents is are walking in the field. R. D. Our teacher is are writing on the blackboard. Is. E. U. Is are swimming. R. Activity ten: Rearrange the words and make meaningful sentences. Example: School study in I primary A. I study in a primary school. A. School close my to my house is. B. I school go every day to. C. English to I study love. D. My love teaches very me much. E. I person want to would be a. Activity eleven. Draw a picture of an activity in which water is used. Show it to your class. Tell your friends in English how water is being used in your picture. Activity twelve. Seasons in my country. Look at the words given below. Tell your friend about the elements that are related with the season. Ask your friend to guess the season. One. Scorching sunshine, mangoes. Name of fans. Name of thunderstorms. Heat, sweat, thirst. Name of the season. Page nine. Dahlias and marigold. Cold wind. Oranges. Quilts and woolens. Picnics. Mist. Pleasant sunshine. Describe the season by using the words given here. Write seven sentences for each lesson. Let's recite. There once were two cats of Kilkenny. Each thought that was one cat too many, so they started to fight and to scratch and to bite. Now, instead of two cats, there aren't any. Let's work together. Draw a picture with any of the seasons as your theme. Show it to your friends. Lesson one, page ten. India superpower in cricket. Let's begin. Which game do you like the most? Look at the picture. Can you guess who these people are? 
who is your favorite cricketer let's read rahul is very excited today he has just finished watching a cricket match in which india beat england in a nail biting finish page 11 india is finally a superpower in cricket now he exclaimed in glee his father said that's right but all this started way back in 1983 when india beat west indies to lift the world cup cup for the first time Rahul's father a great cricket lover like him handed him a yellowish newspaper cutting what's this Rahul asked his father this is from a newspaper of 26 June 1983 just the day after India won the world cup cricket for the first time his father replied with a smile i was in class 7 then and i have kept it with me all these days go through it and tell me how you feel about it he added After dinner Rahul started reading the old yellowish paper cutting. He learned that on 25th June 1983 Lords the famous cricket ground in England was fully packed for the final showdown. A total of 2,32,081 people came to watch the match. It was a grand event after a period of 4 years since the last World Cup final in 1979. What trophy nail biting exciting super power having great power glee joy paper cutting part of a newspaper cut and kept for father reference activity 1 let's complete the following sentences a india is now dash b india's first world cup victory was in the year dash c the total number of people who came to watch the 83 final was D there is a gap of dash years between the two world cup tournaments activity 2 let's write t for true and f for false statements statements 1 india has improved in cricket over the years 2 rahul's father does not like sports and games 3 india won the first world cup in the 80s 4 in 1983 the world cup matches were played in england Let's continue. In the final, India lost the toss and had to bat first against a West Indies team that had the world's best bowling attack. Only Krishnamacharya Srikanth, 38 from 57 balls, and Mohinda Ramana, 26 from 80 balls, put up some significant resistance as West Indies fast, fast bo- bowlers Andy Roberts. Malcolm Marshall, Joel Garner and Michael Holding demolished the Indian batting lineup. Surprising resistance by the lower order batsmen allowed India to compile 183 all out 54.4 overs. Only 3 sixes were hit in the Indian innings, one by Sikant, one by Sandeep Patil, 27 from 29 balls and one by Madan Lal, 17 from 27 balls. However, the Indian bowlers in return utilized the weather and pitch conditions perfectly to bowl out the best batting lineup of the era for 140 from 52 overs, thus winning by 43 runs. Defeating the previously invincible West Indies was one of the most stunning upsets in cricket history. Amarnath and Madan Lal took 3 wickets each. what truth resistance defense demolished destroyed era age period invincible unbeatable activity 3 walk in pairs to answer the questions a which team won the toss b who was the highest scorer for india in the match c what was india's total score in the match d who were the previously invincible team provide information from the passage walk in groups One, the four fast bowlers of West Indies. Two, three Indian batsmen who hit sixes. Three, factors that the Indian bowlers utilized. Four, two Indian bowlers who took three wickets each. Let's match table A with table B. Table A, one West Indies, two Sandeep Patil, three West Indies played for four India, one by table B, forty-three runs bowled first, fifty-two overs. Played twenty nine balls. Let's continue. 
page 14 the most memorable moment of the match came when kapil dev the indian captain ran a uh, considerable distance about 18 to 20 yards to take a catch which dismissed vivian richards the west indies top scorer Amarnath was more economical than any other bowler, considering just 12 runs from his 7 overs while taking 3 wickets and was aw awarded the man of the match for his all-round performance. Kapil's boys had stunned the world and won the World Cup. Cricket in India started gaining rapid popularity from that day onwards. Rahul finished the report and tried to imagine how excited his father then in class 7 must have been when Kapil lifted the World Cup for India for the first time. What proof? Eared, almost 3 feet, economical, keeping expenses within a limit, stunned, shocked, rapid, fast. 15. Let's learn. Let's read the following sentences. Rahul's father, a great cricket lover like him, handed him a yellowish newspaper cutting. What's this? Rahul asked his father. This is from a newspaper of 26 June 1983, just the day after India won the World Cup cricket for the first time. His father replied with a smile, I was in class 7 and then and have kept it with me all these days. Go through it and tell me how you feel about it, he added. Now you see that. Full stop indicates the end of a sentence. Comma indicates a short pause within a sentence. Question mark indicates a question. Inverted commas are used to indicate direct speech. These are all punctuation marks. Activity 6. Insert suitable punctuation marks in the following passage. One is done for you. One day a man went to the market. Full stop. He bought a box, a bat, a ball and a pen from the market. His bag became heavy. Do you know what he did then? He said to a horse, Please share my load. It is too heavy for me. The horse replied, It is your load. Don't ask me to share it. Fill in the blanks with words from the box. One is done for you. Activity 7, page 16. 1. The captain lifted the trophy after winning the tournament. 2. So, uh, Shorov Ganguly has great dash all over India. 3. The dash in England is usually very dark and gloomy. 4. Our batsmen put up a brave dash against the opponents. 5. The footballer dashed the audience by his skill. Devache's stunt resistance lifted weather popularity. Activity 8. re in the sentences to show the sequence of action by putting numbers in the brackets, the first one is done for you. 1. India scored 183 runs. 2. The final was played at Lords. Number 1. 3. India won by 43 runs. 4. West Indies could score only 140 runs. 5. West Indies won the toss. 6. India batted first. 7. Amarnath was declared the man of the match. Let's read the following sentences. 1. Who are you? I am Bina. 2. Where do you live? I live in Kolkata. 3. When do you have your breakfast? I have my breakfast in the morning. 4. Which is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is cricket. Page 17, activity 9. Let's fill in the blanks with the words given in the box. Who, when, what, where. 1. Do, dash, do you play with your friends? I play with my friends in the afternoon. 2. Dash is your best friend. Ramin is my best friend. 3. Dash will you go in the summer vacation? We shall go to Darjeeling in the summer vacation. 4. Dash did you have as your tiffin? I had bread as my tiffin. Let's read the sentences. 1. Rahul is very excited today to Indian bowlers utilize the weather and pitch conditions. 3. Kapil Dev ran a considerable distance to take a catch. 4. Amarnath was more economical than any other bowler. 5. Cricket started gaining rapid popularity in India. Let's reframe each of the above sentences using who or what. The answers are in colored words. Answers are 1. Rahul, 2. Indian bowlers, 3. Kapil Dev, 4. Amarnath, 5. Cricket. All these words are the subject words of the sentences. 
the remaining part of each of the sentences is called the predicate page 18 subject rahul predicate is very excited today uh, subject indian bowlers predicate utilize the weather and pitch conditions subject kapil dev predicate ran a long distance to take a catch subject omarnath predicate was more economical than any other bowler subject cricket predicate started gaining rapid popularity in india to identify the subject ask who or what to the verb of the sentence Every sentence has two parts, subject and predicate. The subject is that part of a sentence about whom which the sentence says something. Predicate is that part of the sen sen sentence that tells us something about the subject. Activity 10. Let's, sep let's separate the subject and predicate in the following sentences and classify them in the table given here. 1. The boy plays in the field too. He is very happy today. 3. The girl stood first last year. 4. A tree is our best friend. 5. The moon revolves around the earth. 19. Let's look at the following sentences. I was an old newspaper. The word and stands for a single object like A. A is used before a word that begins with a consonant sound. And is used before a word that begins with a vowel sound. Let's read the following groups of words. A crow, a stone, a mountain, a book, a shoe, an apple, an eye, an igloo, an owl. Activity 11. Let's write A or an before the words. Orange, goat, three, man, four, ice cream, five, airship, six, lake, seven, umbrella, eight, cricketer. Let's read the following sentences. 1. India bowlers, Indian bowlers utilize the weather and pitch conditions. 2. In the final, India lost the toss. 3. Only three sixes were hit in the Indian innings. Here, the indicates a particular and specific person, animal, object or concept. Let's read the words. The Ganges, the Himalayas, the moon, the best player, the sun. Activity 12. Use the with the following words or word clusters and make sentences. Sun, Indian Ocean, Eldest Sun, Indian Cricket Team. 21. Activity 13. Let's fill in the blanks with A, N or the. India won dash cricket World Cup once again in 2011. It was dash moment of Great triumph and dash event of great inspiration to dash youth of India. Dash members of Team India were hailed as national heroes. Activity 14. Amarnath was awarded the man of the match for his all-round performance. Let's write four sen sen sentences to describe his heroics. Let's recite. Timed out. First we had the test. Cricket at its best. Went on full five days. The match was long and slow, and for all you know, a game we love always. Page 22. Then the one-day match, strike, run, throw and catch. There is no greater thrill, an entire day goes fast. Test a matter of the past, call it what, what you will. It's 2020 now, all spiced up and how, sixers all the way, we hardly spare a thought. At how the game goes short, just enjoy the day. Let's talk. Tell your friends about your feelings when India won the Cricket World Cup for the second time in 211. Let's walk together. Make a scrapbook. Collect pictures of Indian cricketers or footballers. Discuss with your friends a cricket or football match in which those players took part. Lesson 2, page 23. A feet on feet. Let's begin. What do you see in the picture? Which is the highest mountain peak in the world? Where is it located? Let's read. Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay were part of the British expedition to Mount Everest in 1953. Colonel John Hunt led the expedition. Hunt selected a team of people, all of whom were experienced climbers. Edmund Hillary, a climber from New Zealand, and Tenzing Norgay Sherpa from India were among the 11 chosen climbers. Page 24. 
After months of planning, the team began to climb. Out of all the climbers on the expedition, only four would get a chance to make an attempt to reach the summit. Hunt, the team leader, selected two teams of climbers. The first team included Tom Bodilon, B-O-U-R-D-I-L-L-O-N, and Charles Evans, while Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norge made up the second team. The first team left on May 26, 1953, to reach the summit of Mount Everest. The two men made it up to about 300 feet short of the summit, till the still the highest any human being had yet reached. They were forced to turn back after they encountered bad weather. At 4 a.m. on May 29, 1953, Hilary and Norge awake in Camp 9 and got ready for their climb. Hilary discovered that his boots had frozen and spent two hours defrosting them. The two men left camp at 6.30 a.m. Upon their climb, they came upon one particularly difficult rock face, but Hilary found a way to climb it. The rock face is now called Hilary's Step. At 11.30 a.m., Hilary and Norge reached the summit of Mount Everest. Hilary reached out to shake Norge's hand, but Norge gave him a hug in return. The two men enjoyed only 15 minutes at the top of the world because of their low oxygen supply. They spent their time taking photographs and enjoying the view. Norge placed a food offering to God. When their 15 minutes were up, Hilary and Norge made their way back down the mountain. What troop? Expedition, organized journey with a purpose. Summit, top, encountered, fist, faced, defrosting, removing ice, hug, embrace. Page 25. Let's find out what happened on May Activity 1, what happened on May 29, 1953. Follow the given sequence and describe 4 a.m., 6.30 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 11.45 a.m. Activity 2a, find out the names of glaciers from the route map of Hilary and Tenzing. Walk in groups, one is done for you. One East Rongbuk Glacier. Activity 2b, Arrange the glaciers from north to south. One is done for you. One East Rongbuk Glacier. Activity 3. Let's answer the following questions. A. Who was the leader of the British Everest Expedition of 1953? B. How many climbers were chosen for the expedition? C. How many climbers got the chance to climb to the top? D. Who were the members of the first team? Page 26. Some interesting incidents occurred in the following years, 2000, May 22, Anna Zerwinska, C-Z-E-R-W-I-N-S-K-A, became the oldest woman to reach the summit of Mount Everest at the age of 50. 2001, May 23, Temba Sheri, T-E-M-B-A-T-S-H-E-R-I, at the age of 16 years and 14 days, reached the summit. 2002, May 25, Salt Eros, Z-S-O-L-T-E-R-O-S, became the first Hungarian to reach the summit. 2003, May 21, 21-year-old Jess Roskelly, R-O-S-K-E-L-L-E-Y, became the youngest American to reach the summit. 2004, May 16, George Vautairopoulos, V-O-U-T-Y-R-O-P-O-U-L-O-S, became the first Greek climber to reach the top. 2005, June 1, Farkhonde Sadek, F-A-R-K-H-O-N-D-E-H, S-A-D-E-G-H, and Lale Keshavars, L-A-L-E-H, K-E-S-H-A-V-A-R-Z became the first Iranian and the first Muslim women to reach the summit. 2006, May 15, Eilem Elif Mavis, E-Y-L-E-M-E-L-I-F-M-A-V-I-S became the first Turkish woman to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Page 27, 2007, May 16, Samantha Larson became the youngest American ever to reach the summit of Everest at the age of 18. 
2009 May 23 Bill Barke B U R K 67 became the oldest American to climb Mount Everest 2010 May 24 John Dalem D A H L E M at 66 years and 10 months and his son Ryan Dalem age 40 years became the oldest father son duo to stand on the summit of Mount Everest together 2011 May 20 Arjun Vajpayee at the age of 16 years and 11 months became the youngest indian to climb mount everest activity 4 let's complete the following sentences a the oldest man to climb mount everest is b the first muslim women to climb mount everest are c the oldest father son duo to climb mount everest is d the youngest indian to climb mount everest is let's learn let's read the words Edmund Hillary, Tenzing Norgay, Cornell Hunt, Mount Everest, China, Boots, Glacier, India, Rope. All these words are names. Naming words are called nouns. Page twenty-eight. Activity five. Now classify the nouns and fill in the table. One is done for you. Name of person, Edmund Hillary. Name of place, India. Name of things, Boots. Let's read the sentences. India is a country. The word India is the name of a particular country. India is a proper noun. A proper noun specifically indicates the name of any person, country, mountain, river, etc. The word country is more general. The word con- country is a com- common noun. A common noun indicates a general reference. Activity six. Let's classify the following words into common nouns and proper nouns. Pinky, Ravi, Soyuz, T11, Mother, Rakesh, Kalpana, Colombia, India, USA, Haryana, California, Barun, Osman, Space Book, Space Book. Twenty-nine. Activity seven. Let's try to think of some proper and common nouns that we already know. Group these in the form of a table. Mention five items in each column. Activity eight A. Let's identify the words signifying masculine and feminine gender in the passage. Once upon a time, there lived a powerful king. He had a beautiful garden. In it, there were flower trees beside a lake. Bees came and sat on the flowers. Peacocks danced in the garden. A goose swam in the lake. Drones flew about in the garden. The queen loved the garden. In the evening, she sat there and watched the peahens picking at the greens. The gander glided on the water. Activity eight B. Write the masculine gender with the corresponding feminine gender in the table. One is done for you. Masculine gender king. Feminine gender queen. Activity nine. Write five sentences describing the route map of Tenzing and Hillary. One is done for you. Hillary and Tenzing started their final climb at 6:30 a.m. Page 30. Let's talk. Your friend wants to visit your house. Tell her or him how she or he will find her he or her or his way to your house from one, the bus stop to the school, three, the railway station. Let's recite. How many miles still to the top? No one knows for sure. Walls of ice and steep, steep drop. Mount Everest's allure. Danger has its beauty too. That is why they climb the perilous peak. They yet pursue its adventure time. Let them go forth. Come, what may glory waits for them? A burst of joy on this wondrous day. Not just mortal fame. Let's walk together. All of us love adventure. Take a sheet of chart paper and make a list of all the adventures we'd like to experience. Walk in groups. Lesson three: Full Moon is India. Page thirty-one. Let's begin. Painting of Abu Nidal Tegu. What do you see in the picture? Who is this man? What is he gazing at? Why is he doing so? Can you guess which place this this is? Have you seen such decoration before? If so, where? Page thirty-two. Let's read. Fulmoni is a Santhal girl. She studies in class five. Her house is in the neighboring village. Have you ever been to her house? There are beautiful pictures painted on the outside wall and also inside her house. 
all her neighbors have painted their doorways and interiors there are pictures of trees flowers and birds on the walls and floors fulmoni loves to paint on the mud walls like her mother she uses many colors her teachers told her that even in ancient india people used to paint inside the caves and on the rocks of hills the rock paintings of bhimbetka are more than 20000 years old they are red white green or yellow in color fulmoni has never been to bhimbetka to see the rock paintings of ancient men but she has heard stories about the famous rock paintings from her teacher one day her teacher showed her a picture she came to know that it was a picture of a very famous cave painting of our country do you want to see that painting here it is this is one of the paintings found in the ajanta caves it is a fresco almost 2000 years ago some great indian artists painted inside the caves of ajanta and elora our country is the home of many religions Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism appear together in the sculptures of Elora. Down the ages many great artists painted inside many other temples and churches of our country. <coughs> Page 33. Little Fulmuni is surprised to know that many of our dances started within the temples. Fulmuni is a natural dancer. She loves to dance to the rhythm of the drum. like her mother and all the other women of her community her teacher said that folk dance is a popular art form among the various communities of india the punjabis love the bhangra dance in in the same way dandiya is popular in gujarat bihu in assam and chhou in west bengal fulmoni loves to watch chhou dance performed during festivals The performers wear masks. They shake their heads and jump in the air in harmony with music. Fulmuni always cries out in joy when the evil is finally defeated at the end of a chhou dance performance. What drove Bhim Betka? The place is situated in Madhya Pradesh. Ajanta. The caves are situated in Maharashtra. Ajanta caves are famous for painting based on the tales of Lord Buddha. fresco a painting on the plaster of the wall elora these caves are in maharashtra too images of hindu gods and goddesses are found here we also find sculptures related to jainism and buddhism sculpture carving on wood or stone community people of the same clan or society activity 1 let's take the correct answer 1 the rock paintings of bhumbet Uh, Bhimbetka are more than a thousand years, b to twenty thousand years, c twelve thousand years old. Two, Ajanta is famous for a cave paintings, b wood paintings, c canvas paintings. Three, Bihu is popular folk dance of a Punjab, b Assam, c West Bengal. Activity two, page thirty four. Let's match the dances with states. Chhou, West Bengal, Dandiya. Gujarat Bhangra Punjab activity 3 let's supply the missing information 1 the primary colors used in the rock paintings at Bhimbetka are 2 most of the indian dances originated from 3 sculptures are found in 4 in the caves of ajanta we find let's continue page 35 last sunday little fulmoni went to see a jatra with her parents Fulmoni was thrilled to see the jatra the next day when she narrated the story of the performance to the class her teacher said the jatra is actually a kind of folk theater this kind of theater is performed under different names in different parts of our country it is called tamasha in maharashtra notonki in north india and jatra in bengal most of these folk theaters are based on mythological incidents or characters India has a rich heritage of classical dance there are many classical dance forms and each deals with some mythological narrative the dancers wear colorful dresses and dance in harmony with music dramatics is an essential part of the indian classical dance tradition kathak is a dance of north india while bharatnatyam mohiniyattam kuchipudi and kathakali are all from south india 
Munipuri and ODC dance are dance forms of Eastern India. Such a wide variety of dance forms cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Dance and music have always been integral to the Indian culture. Fulmuni has a sweet voice. She believes that she can easily sing in harmony with musical instruments like sitar, sarod, tabla, sarangi, cymbal, drum, guitar and so on. Fulmoni came to know that the Indian kings and rulers patronized classical music and dance in their courts. Emperor Akbar loved to listen to the songs of Tanshin. Our country is so big that we have many different styles of classical music like Hindustani and Carnatic. Each of these styles grew in temples and developed down the ages. Fulmoni is proud to be an Indian. She has heard that our country is full of page 36 great monuments, forts and wonderful architectures. She has seen the picture of the Taj Mahal. It is one of the seven wonders of the world. The fort at Agra and the red fort in Delhi are also worth seeing. The huge gateway or Bulan Darwaza built by Emperor Akbar at Fatehpur Sikri is also among the monuments that Fulmuni wishes to see. She hopes that someday she will be able to move all around India and see all the fascinating monu monuments. Wardrobe, mythological, related to imaginary age-old tales handed down through generations. Heritage, elements of culture which are passed on from one generation to another. Harmony, matching in rhyme, essential, most necessary. Patronized, gave support to art, music, etc. Activity 4. Write T for true and F for false sentences, one done for you. In India, there are many types of classical dances. True. 2. Kathakali dance originated in northern India. False. 3. Sitar is a musical instrument. True. 4. In India, there is only one form of classical music. False. F. Tansen was a great vocalist. True. Page 37, Activity 5. Let's write the answers to the, these questions. 1. Which country has a rich heritage of classical dance? 2. What is an essential part of Indian classical dance? 3. Who loved to listen to the songs of Tansen? 4. Which monument in India is among the seven wonders of the world? 5. What is Buland Darwaza? 6. Name the folk theatres of A. Maharashtra, B. Bengal, C. North India. 7. What is a symbol? Activity 6. India is a country of dances. Find the names of these dances in this maze. One is done for you. Activity 7. Write the opposites of the words given in the clues. You can find the answer in the text. Clues down of four opposite of same across one opposite of good two opposite of ugly three opposite of rare activity eight page thirty nine make a scrapbook collect a picture of the Taj Mahal or the Red Fort paste it in your scrapbook now write five sentences about it let's read some sentences from the story once again one Fulmoni is a Santhal girl. 2. She studies in class 5. The second sentence does not start with full money. It starts with she. Now ask your friend, who is she here? Does she stand for full money? Is she a girl? Yes. Yes. She stands for full money, a girl. She is a pronoun. The word she stands for the noun full money. She is a personal pronoun. Let's remember. She stands for a girl, woman, lady, or at times a female animal. She indicates feminine gender. He stands for a boy, man, or at times a male animal. He indicates masculine gender. It stands for anything not belonging to masculine or feminine gender, that is, insect, animal, bird, or any other object of neuter gender. Looks. Let's look into this table of personal pronouns. Singular number I, plural number we, you, singular number you, plural number you, singular number he, plural number they, singular number she, plural number they, 
singular number it, plural number they, plural number these, page 40, activity 9. Let's replace the bold words with a personal pronoun. 1. Jairam is a boy. Jairam studies in class 5. Jairam. 2. This is a dog. The dog guards our house. The dog. 3. Moon Moon is a little girl. Moon Moon goes to school every day. Moon Moon. 4. Ranu, James and Imran are friends. Ranu, James and Imran play together. Ranu, James and Imran. 5. We go to the city by bus. The bus goes first. The bus. 6. I have a mina. The mina can talk. The mina. 7. My father has a cycle. The cycle is red in color. The cycle. Let's look at these sentences given below. Her house is in the neighboring village. Her, here, her house stands for the house of full money. Her is a possessive pronoun. Note. Her stands for feminine gender. He stands for masculine gender. It stands for neuter gender. Let's compare personal pronouns with possessive pronouns through this table. Personal pronoun I, possessive pronoun my, personal pronoun we, possessive pronoun our, personal pronoun you, possessive pronoun your, personal pronoun he, possessive pronoun his, personal pronoun she, possessive pronoun her, personal pronoun it, possessive pronoun its, personal pronoun they, possessive pronoun their. Activity 10. Let's underline the right answers. 1. Rabi has a little pet dog. He loves her, his, their pet dog. 2. I read in class 5. My, their, his, school is nearby. 3. Rina is my classmate. His, her, its, house is near. It's, their, our, school. 4. My father is a painter. There are many paintings in his, their, our, house. 5. My cousin sings well. There our his school has a music teacher. 6. My dog wags. Our its her tail when it sees me. Page 42. Activity 11. Let's fill in the blanks with personal pronoun and possessive pronouns. 1. The caves of Ajanta are famous for dash, dash fresco paintings. 2. Kudai Shankar was a famous Bengali dancer. Dash traveled all over the world with Dash troop. 3. Nandulal Bose was a great painter. We find Dash drawings in Sahaj Park. Dash was very close to Rabindranath Tagore. 4. We are proud of Dash, greatest poet Rabindranath Tagore. Dash was also a great painter. 5. Taj Mahal was built in the memory of Mumtaj Mahal. Dash is a burial tomb. Let's talk. Discuss the annual cultural program held in your school with your friend. Let's recite. There was an old man on the border who lived in the utmost disorder. He danced with cat and made tea in his hair, which vexed all the folks on the border. Edward Lear Activity 12. Look at these funny pictures and write four sentences about it. Let's recite. There was an old man with a beard who said, It is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren have all built their nest in my beard. Edward Lear. Activity 13. Can you recite these two rhymes to your class? With the use of gestures, recite the rhymes out loud. Page 44, Activity 14. Write five sentences about the form of art you like the most. Use capital letters at the beginning of sentences. End every sentence with a full stop. You can begin like this. The form of art I like the most is, let's work together. A. Make your own puppet. Things you need. A small rubber ball, a three-inch long needle, some wool, colored cloth, a small sponge of about 3 to 4 inch length, an old unused sock, colored cloth, glue. Method. Make a small hole in the ball. Push the needle into it. The needle should go through the ball and come out at the other end. Cover the ball with a piece of colored cloth, sock. Glue it. 
draw the eyes and lips on the ball take some colored wool and paste on the ball make plates push the sponge into the needle cover the sponge with the piece of cloth paste the cloth glue your puppet is ready b create your own design take an onion cut it into halves pour some paint into a plate add water now put the cut side of the onion into the paint press the onion on a paper make designs